Hi and welcome back to Physio Tutors. My name is Kai and today we're going to be talking about AROM or active range of motion in the hip joint. If you want to get information about the passive range of motion in this joint, please click on the videos next to me or find the link also below this video in the description. So back to AROM. AROM is the range of motion through which a patient can actively, this means without any assistance, move a joint using the respective muscle. The goals of testing range of motion is to detect possible symptoms like pain and determine their location, quality and intensity. Secondly, you as a therapist will see how freely your patient can actively move in that particular joint. Before you start, make sure your patient is in a comfortable position and the table is adjusted at a good height. It is crucial to inform your patient that the assessment might provoke symptoms. Therefore, first start with the unaffected or normal side. Make sure to instruct your patient properly as this is a hands-off assessment. Flexion. Ask your patient to bring his knee as far as possible to his chest. Correct the patient if necessary. To help you estimate the degrees over which your patient can move, you can picture an imaginary 90 degree angle and if necessary at another 45 degrees and compare it to what you see in your patient. You would want to avoid unnecessary repositioning of your patient during this assessment. As the patient is lying supine, try to have him perform as many movements in this position as possible. Abduction. Lift the leg slightly off the bench and ask the patient to give you all of his weight as you want to assess abductor muscles and not flexors. The patient's toes should face the ceiling. Ask the patient to bring his leg as far out as possible while you are supporting it. A deduction. Have the patient cross one leg over the other. Then ask him to move his other leg inward as far as possible while you are supporting the weight. Internal and external rotation. Ask the patient to flex his hip in a 90 degree angle. For internal rotation, instruct the patient to bring his heel outwards as far as possible while keeping the knee in the same position. For external rotation, instruct the patient to rotate his heel inward. Extension. Ask the patient to lie in prone position. Then ask the patient to lift his straight leg off the bench as far as possible. Again, you should check for compensation to differentiate between hip extension and extension in the lumbar spine that occurs as soon as the patient lifts his pelvis. Again, please make sure that all of the movements are done actively by your patient and that you as a physio are only supporting the movement. So guys, this is it. We hope this helped. As always, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, favorite, share it if you like or leave a comment below. Also make sure you check out our video on passive range of motion by clicking this link here. This has been Kai for Physio Tutors. See you next time.